All right, Loop Tubers, Jamie Bruce here. Uh, have some fresh news about the Bassmaster Opens payouts, rules, uh, format, everything like that for 2024. A lot of buzz going around the MLF right now. Uh, and this is kind of going under the radar. So definitely worth a look. My briefing on this has been very limited. I just uh, was on my way home and, and saw the email come out from Bassmaster and went through it quick. And there's a lot of things to go through here um you know around the payouts and the rules and the off limits and and angler of the year and everything like that so definitely going to want to stick around and we'll uh we'll go through it and kind of crunch the numbers as best as we can and and you know kind of highlight what the changes are uh since you're already here you may as well slide her on down do a little bit of subscribe and it's a bit of a pain you know doing these once in a while i like doing it i like sharing info with everyone but a little bit of love on the subscriber front does not hurt doesn't cost you a nickel and we'll take every damn one of you we can get um but yeah let's uh let's hop into it here okay we got her figured out here that was painful all right so here's how she lays out this is uh this is right from bassmaster this is the 2024 opens overview uh birth to the 2025 bassmaster classic uh birth to the pro division winner which when i first read that i thought it meant the winner of the division but it looks like it's the same as it's always been um if you win one and you're signed up for all three events in a division or all nine you're going to the classic um three events in each division no change all cash yeah yeah this is a big one here 14 day off limits slash no information period so i haven't dove totally into this and and really broken it down yet um, but how it's looking is the off limits has gone from 30 days to 14 days and the no information period has gone from the just five days of official practice to 14 days of no information. So that's a big move. Uh, it might not seem like much on paper cause it looks like they just cut the off limits in half, but they actually extended that no information period uh two extra weeks because you're not allowed to get current information during official practice which uh will remain the four and a half days prior uh which was surprising i thought it was going to be shortened but i'm you know that's cool um but yeah so how it worked before is uh you know or this year this is kind of the first year for any info rules or off limits in the opens that they'd ever had uh but you could get information um all the way up till the start of official practice even though you weren't allowed to be on the lake for 30 days there were still plenty of guys you know talking to guides um immediately the day before practice talking to locals that you know maybe had been fishing all week or or buddies fishing for these guys and and passing the information forward so that's uh that's gone that's gonna that's gonna be a pretty big change of 14 day off limits means that uh you know just like how it says the pre-practicers can still go at it um now they can go a couple of weeks earlier so the pre-practice might be a little more relevant to the event now um pretty big change there though uh, official practice is five days prior i haven't looked at the official rules yet to look at it we'll crack them open and see uh if there's any highlights there but um yeah mandatory check-in advertised payout which we'll go to next random pairings between pro and non-boater i don't really know why they put that um but anyway let's see let's see if i can scroll her down here all right so we got page two here is a major change um bassmaster eq aoy payouts um so they're going to pay out the top 10 uh overall in the past it had been well this year it was 10 grand to the highest finisher uh the elite qualifier angler of the year uh this year was jt Tompkins, uh and i think they've been paying 10 grand for the last few years i'm not really sure there um but anyway they've as you can see they're paying way down um you know paying all the way down to 10th so at least the guy that gets 10th and doesn't make the elites gets uh <laughs> gets a little little compensation there um total aoi payout 110 grand so that's up 100 grand um and something that wasn't noted on this briefing is the entry fees have gone from 1800 to 2000 dollars um and we're already so there's a 
100, 100 grand increase there. We're going to get into the actual payouts and see how it's affected or if it's affected by that. Um, and now the co-angler, non-boater overall angler of the year, entries into the pro division of their choice for the next season. So that's worth six grand. Um, good deal there. I know some guys were doing the co-angler thing, uh, did all nine this year. And I, I don't even know if they would have got a trophy, but um I'm not really sure how that worked. That I know there wasn't really anything for it this year. So a uh, bit of a bump there. That's cool. This is what a lot of people are going to want to know about. The pro payout. So this is based on 225 boats. Um, you'll see right away, everyone looks at the bottom line instead of the top, uh, myself included. So prior to this, the Open's only paid down to 40th place. And um you know it was a little less than that we'll we'll pull up the other numbers from an actual tournament with 225 boats in it this year and compare uh but we'll just go through this quick here uh so that's four grand so you're doubling your money just for getting a check um that's pretty good 31st to 45th 4k at least they pay down those five spots um i i know a lot of people would like to see that go a little bit deeper but let's uh let's keep checking this out here five grand 14th to 30th and then this used to be just a standard one because I got 13th that you follow Oklahoma and it was just the same check as, you know, the person that got 20th. So that's that's cool to see a bump there for 13th. We go $1,000 up all the way to 10th. Um, minimum 10 grand. That's way up. Um, I'm just basing this off my own experiences and that's, you know, that's up quite a bit. So 10 grand from 8th to 10th, super solid on a two grand entry uh obviously still not easy to do at all to attain that um and then we go up a thousand dollars and then you'll see some changes around here third used to be pretty top heavy um you know which was fine with me because i got that sucker a couple times uh but even when receiving it i was like this you know i i wasn't crazy about the payout because i always thought it was too top heavy i thought it promoted more for like jackpotters to want to fish and and you know when it should be based on the nine anglers doing the eqs you know that have dedicated their year to it so i i do like to see this that it's that it's paying a little bit deeper first place is down a little bit second place is down a little bit third and then and then fourth is higher than it had been in the past i believe we're going to pull up uh the actual results from you fall a 225 boat open uh from last year and compare it so the co-angler side i, I don't really know enough about to comment I would imagine there's not a whole lot of change there. There hasn't been a change to their entry fee. It remains at 475, I believe. Okay, let's pull up uh you fall Alabama and just kind of take a look at it here. Okay, well, I have it on my side here. I'm not good enough to be able to dial this up, but uh, I was wrong about fourth. It looks like John Garrett got fourth. He got 15K at the last one. Milliken, 1305. Um, so, you know, that's really the same. Sixth. Um, Jack York, 12 grand. Six remains at 12 grand. Uh, you know, it's down in, from uh, seventh. You know, seventh went down to 10.5, then 8250, 6750. Tenth was six grand. So you're up way more in the top 10 already and at the bottom. And I really like the way this lays out. Um, you know, it seems a, a, a lot more reasonable for someone trying to go at it all year. Um, there was no reason for you to be able to win. Let's see. Well, you still, I mean, with the extra two hundred dollars on the entry, like first place, Justin Barnes got fifty two five at you fall Alabama, and first place is still gonna be fifty grand based on two twenty five. So uh another couple hundred bucks when you're already spending forty grand on the season, you're that's like buying a can of dip when you fill up your truck. Like it's not really gonna be something you notice uh 
you know, that's, that's just been my experience. You'll spend that on, on worms and a gas station. Like it's, you know, if you're already in for it, it's, it's really not the end of the world. It's a little bit more round of a number, easier to work with. Um, but yeah, we're going to talk about, so I did, this was kind of the part that I looked at the only time I had a, a minute to look at, um, out of all of this, cause I wanted to know, um, so based on these numbers for 2024 and based on the UFL Alabama tournament in 2023, like I said, 225 boats, direct comparison, um, there was, you know, the cheater did get DQ'd from that and they, uh, distributed his earnings back through, but it really, it didn't affect the payout at all. It's, you know, it just needed to be bumped. So, uh, forget about that part. Um, okay. Here's the numbers. 2023, you fall Alabama, uh, 288,050 paid out, uh, an entry fee of 1800 times 225 anglers, $405,000. They took in entries and paid out 71% of that at 288.050. And that actually includes the, uh, the big bass payouts that were, uh, because of the cheater in there. Um, the numbers were a little bit skewed because they added it as a cash bonus back to all of them. So you couldn't really find who won the big bass. Uh, so there's an extra 1500 bucks in there somewhere. So it's actually probably right at 70% with that. Um, okay. So that's 70%. Uh, that's, you know, not taking into account the Bassmaster classic bursts that are an automatic 10 grand or, um, the AOI 10 grand or, uh, anything like that. So we'll call it 70% payout on entries 2024. Uh, and again, this is just the payouts, not the, not the AOI payouts added or anything like that. Um, so they're going to pay out as advertised in this $332,550 per tournament, uh, based on 225 boats, which is what we're comparing it to with a $2,000 entry fee. So 450 grand total in entries, uh, a total of 74%. So it went up 3%, uh, three to 4%, um, you know, just on entries and payout alone, just in you know these single events and we're not counting the the extra hundred thousand dollars that went into the aoi so uh it looks like Bassmaster has made um you know some concessions on their end uh looks like there there's a little bit more action coming to the opens like they're you know we're in all these tournaments we're seeing cuts and cuts and cuts and this one is actually moving in the direction uh that you want to see it i don't i'm not affiliated to Bassmaster at all i'm just this is an objective lens uh we're looking at at all this with um i'm actually not even fishing all nine next year i'm only doing the three so the extra 100 grand aoi doesn't affect me at all so just wanted to crunch the numbers and give you a quick take on this and um you know and i've said it all along too people are like well I could fish FLW and, you know, if I get 40th, I get seven grand or whatever it is. And I'm like, yeah, well, you're risking $5,200 to win that seven grand. We're here. If you get a check, you're doubling your entry fee. Uh, you know, it, it it's moving in the right direction. Obviously, people are going to gripe forever and everyone wants more and more and more. Um, but I I do like the changes I'm seeing and I, I like the direction it's going. Uh so yeah, it's people have been griping forever about getting that 40th place uh, marker moved down just because of how hard it is to get 40th place. You have to beat 185 boats to get any kind of check in these tournaments. Like it's it's wild to think about, and it's wild to be there, especially when you're you know relying on these checks to get you to the next one. So um, yeah, kudos to them. I I don't know if there's anything about live coverage or anything like that. Like I said, I've hardly dug deep into this. Just wanted to give a quick update, um, you know, and and just kind of my opinion on it. So there you have it. I'm going to be doing all three in the Northern Divisions if I can get in. Um, and it uh, looks like the Opens are moving in a positive direction. And there's probably going to be a lot more, uh, you know, household names fishing those next year, given all the changes we're seeing right now. The NPFL schedule is being announced tonight as well. Uh, curious to see that curious to see if the 
payouts, you know, will be adjusted there at all or, or how that's going to look. So there's a lot going on right now. There's a lot more to look at than uh, 30 guys being cut from, from the Bass Pro Tour. Um, and yeah, there's, uh, there's the breakdown. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.